2014 regulation changes were inspired by the FIA to ensure that the technology within Formula One um, is well aligned with the road car technology of the day. Um, and two key regulations were introduced. Um, one is that um, there's only 100 kilograms for the race distance to be used, and the flow rate that you can spend that at is at a maximum of 100 kilograms per hour. To do this, we focused on four areas of engineering, including turbocharging. I am Pierre Godoff, turbocharging team leader. When the regulation first came out and we were allowed to recover heat energy, we realised what we needed didn't exist for the racing environment. We then even investigated other in industries, uh, used our contact in Daimler, including the truck division, looked at jet, jet engines in order to promote fresh ideas. We then looked at packaging those ideas into the car environment and realised that splitting the turbo and the compressor either side of the centre V was giving us the best, fastest car package, despite the engineering challenge. Of course, to be competitive, we're pushing temperature, stress, rotational speed, but the real challenge was to include the motor generator within the assembly. This is what enabled the increased efficiency of the power unit. Developing such a technology for the road car will also increase the efficiency and reduce pollution.